Right. Okay, guys. So in this video, we're going to look at laying out our UVs and arranging them. So I've got all my UVs done, and you'll notice all my UV shells are a bit all over the shop. They're kind of random sizes and things like that. So you might notice that um, some squares are sort of bigger than other squares and things like that. So what we're aiming for when we lay out our UVs is that all of the squares are the same size all over the place. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to lay out our UVs. We're going to lay them out in this 0 to 1 square here that's going to form our texture sheet. So you might notice on here, these are packed in really nicely um, for our texture. Everything's nice and straight as well. So what I'm going to do is, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select all those UV shells that I've created and I'm going to click Orient Shells. And what this does is it sort of straightens everything off, makes everything nice and even around the place. Okay. Um, so I've done a little bit of optimization where I've mirrored my UVs. I've done half the UVs on one side and then mirrored them. So some of my UV shells will have um, a different ones stacked on top of them. So that Orient is going to make everything nice and straight. And you'll notice all of these squares are now fairly straight across the whole um, model now. Okay, so that's the first thing I'm going to do. This is the simplest way. There's some other Orient and kind of stacking techniques that we can do. Um, we're not going to do that for now. So next I'm going to use this layout. Uh, I'm actually going to hold the shift key and the shift key and click layout which is going to bring up this little options box. You can also find this under where are we? Not under create, select. So again all of the tools on the right hand side in that UV toolkit are going to be here. So modify layout. So I'm going to click on the option box. That gives me the same thing there. So what I'm going to do is, this is the really important thing here, I need to turn my pre-shell scaling to preserve 3D ratios. What this is going to do is it's going to scale all of the UV shells to make them the same size. So that um, it's going to look at the model, it's going to look at the 3D ratios of the model, and it's going to make sure that the big areas of the model, so like the P there's these shells underneath, it's going to make sure those are um, the same size as other ones so that if there's a bigger area it takes up more space in the UV so eventually it should end up with everything the same so essentially preserve 3D ratios is going to scale everything so that the shells are the same size as the 3D models or the 3D faces I'm then going to translate and I'm going to let it rotate and I'm going to leave this to 90 so what this is going to do is it's going to rotate things by 90 degrees there and fit things in as best as it can I'm then going to change my shell padding to 5, which is going to leave a tiny little gap in between the shells to make it a little bit easier. And then I'm going to scale, I'm going to work in the tiles U1 and V1. So it's going to go into the 0 to 1 area. So if I change this to 2, 1, it would go into the 2, 1 area there. So now I'm going to make sure I've got everything selected when I use this tool. And then I'm going to hit layout UVs. And what that's done for me now is you can see visually over here, everything is the same size. Everything's nice and neat. Then we can go here and then all of my UV shells are packed in here nice and tidy. Okay, um, so that covers laying out your UVs there. Um, it's packed everything in. We can have a little bit closer. You can see that five pixel gap it's leaving between most places there. Um, those UVs are now done. So in the next videos, we'll look into how we export this and send this to Photoshop and then actually paint this. So use this as a little template. Okay, thanks guys.